Hi, my name is Bree Riley, and today we are doing one of my favorite things, and that is playing with balance. Balance is one of those things that we all struggle with, and the cool thing, and also maybe the frustrating thing, is that it varies from day to day. So some days your balance is really great, and other days not so much, but it is something that we can grow in in our practice, and that is a gift my friends so congrats to you for taking time to stop to come into balance and the cool thing with balance is you don't think about anything else just balancing so we're actually going to start on our mats and then we'll do a lot of standing balancing postures as we move through our sequence today we're going to start with easier balances and then work up to more challenging ones so know that you can Keep repeating this video to figure out and how your body works and to learn the balances. You'll find that as you practice, the harder ones get easier and easier. So don't stress if you can't quite do the hard ones yet today. So coming onto our mats, we're gonna take what is called Supta Baddha Konasana, or bound angle pose. Basically, butterfly legs laying down. So take the soles of your feet to touch, Laying back on your mat, and you're welcome to prop up any pillows, blankets, or blocks underneath your knees. But let your knees open up nice and wide. Gently stretching out your hips. Don't worry about how close your knees are to the ground. And begin to take some nice, full, deep breaths. maybe on your belly or one on your heart, one on your belly. And we always begin by checking in with ourselves. How's your body doing today? Where's your energy level at? How do your hips feel as they gently begin to open up? tired or if your hips are feeling tight. We are not here to judge. We're here to learn, to listen sweetly. Feeling your body resting against your mat, maybe noticing temperature, areas where it's warmer or cooler on your skin. And notice your mind. How present are you? Where is your mind if it's not here? And just acknowledging. Am I thinking about the future, the past? Is there something I'm really trying to process? And with a really kind and understanding attitude, just gently guiding your mind back to this moment. It's okay if it wanders and analyzes and thinks. That's its job. But we want to know what it's thinking about. We want to be present with our thoughts. That way we can guide them in the direction of presence, of mindfulness, of being here in our lives at this moment, because this is the only moment that's happening. And nice and gently check in with your heart. are you experiencing? Maybe in this moment, maybe lately. And see if as you listen, you can be so kind to yourself. Listening to understand, to care, not to judge, to change. about why you're feeling any which way and even if you're unsure of how you're feeling. But we're just taking a moment to sit with ourselves in fullness without judgment. Maybe if your heart has been struggling lately, tell yourself it's okay. This too shall pass. And 
happens when our heart is out of alignment, when we find we have emotions that we struggle with. It's just teaching us that something needs to shift. Whether it is our attitude about something, our perspective, or perhaps to let go of something we cannot control. Or perhaps to do some healing, to work towards forgiveness, to work towards compassion, whether that is to ourselves or others. So breathe deep. Sit with everything that is and allow it to be. Gently take a full breath. Let it go. Use your hands underneath your legs to gently guide your knees back together. Keeping your knees bent, take one more moment here and set an intention for your practice. Why did you show up to your mat today? How would you like to feel? Do you need to let go of anything or cultivate any feelings? What is your intention? And after you set your intention, take a nice deep breath in. And an open mouth sigh, let it go. Nice and gentle, hug your knees in towards your chest. Maybe even tuck up into a tight ball, give them a good squeeze. Say, I love myself. <laughs> then hold on to your right knee. Let your left leg come out nice and long. You can have a bend in this knee too if you find your hips are a little tighter. Relax your head and shoulders back. And just working on pulling the right knee into your chest and straightening and lengthening out through your left leg. You can roll out your ankles. Make sure you connect with your feet. This is a big piece of balancing. So scrunch your toes, wiggle them. Notice what your feet feel like. Be present with them. Give one more squeeze of your knee into the chest. And then nice and gentle, begin to open your knee to the right. So we're hugging it in towards our right armpit. Keep pressing out long through your left leg. Keep your left hip grounded. Take a nice deep breath here. Come back to the center and then begin to straighten your right leg up towards the ceiling. Play around with how you want this stretch to be. If you flex your feet, it becomes much more intense along the back side. If you point your toes, then you can get a nice little stretch along the top of your foot and maybe into your shin. Notice where your foot is and make sure that it's lined up right with your hip. And it's okay if your leg is much lower. It's okay if your knee is bent. We are working it towards straight and up. If you've watched some of my other videos, you know that I love to say that it's not about the full asana, the full posture. It's making space. Stretching out to make more space in our body for more movement. Take one more breath, maybe straighten your leg a little more, maybe draw it in a little closer. Nice and gentle, bend your right knee and hug the left knee into your chest. Giving a nice squeeze, start to work the right leg out towards straight. Again, maybe rolling out your ankles, scrunch your feet, wiggle your toes. Notice the temperature of your feet. Relax your head and shoulders. Make sure you're nice and calm during this. Keep hugging the right knee in and slowly start to open it out to the left. Breathe deep and slow into your belly. One more breath. Really being here. Gently guiding your knee back to center and straighten your left leg up towards the ceiling. Play around with whether your foot is flexed or pointed. Maybe you do both for a couple of breaths. Sending lots of kindness to your hamstrings, the back of your legs is often a place of a lot of tightness. So don't stress if you're feeling that. Just make sure that you don't grab behind the knee. Anywhere else is cool. Slowly working the leg a little straighter, maybe a little closer in. Make sure you can still 
gentle breathe, soft, no tension in your shoulders. One more breath, my friends. Nice and gentle, bending your knees, hug both of them into your chest, give a nice tight squeeze. If it's in your practice, my favorite transition is the rock and roll, so maybe starting to gain a little momentum, rocking forwards and backwards along your spine. If this doesn't feel good, just come up to hugging a little ball, but otherwise maybe playing around with the rock and roll. Pull your belly in nice and tight as you do this. Maybe play with no hands. Maybe play around with uh, out having your feet touch at the top so you balance. Take just one more moment for any play. And we're going to press all the way to tabletop. If you like the play aspect, we're going to rock and roll and hop through. Otherwise, you can cross your ankles and come into all fours. If you choose the rock and roll, gain some momentum. Crossing your ankles, we're going to press our hands forward and hop our feet back. Coming into all fours. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Take a moment, tuck your toes underneath you. And start to press your hips back towards your heels. So we're getting a big stretch through our feet. If you've done this one a lot and you're comfortable with it, that's an important piece. Start to walk your hands back. Maybe working yourself all the way up to a seat here. This can be very intense. Stretching out the ligaments in our toes is a very intricate spot and can have a lot of sensation. So if you find this is too much, just take your hands down, take a little weight off of your heels. We're gonna stay for just another moment. Maybe helping your pinky toes if they tend to curl under. As we age, the tendons in our fingers and in our feet, they shorten, which is why elderly hands and feet will start to curl, right? So doing this will keep that from happening, and this will help your balance, okay? Take one more breath. Oh, yeah. Nice and gentle, we're going to make our way to downward facing dog. Start to walk your hands forward. Take them a little bit farther forward than your shoulders when you're lined up in your table top. Toes are still tucked, we're going to press our hips up and back. Our goal with down dog is to get a nice full body stretch and strengthener. So that means we're engaging our bodies, push into your hands. See if you can get your ears to come right between your elbows. That's okay if your knees are bent and your heels are not touching. Nice deep breaths. Push down into the balls of your feet and try to stretch the mat between your feet. And you'll feel your booty get nice and strong and engaged here. Take one more breath, almost there. Big inhale, look between your hands, pull your belly in nice and tight, and we're gonna start to mindfully walk our feet forward. Feel your legs, feel your feet. It's okay if your knees get a big bend here. It's okay if your hands can't touch anymore. Coming all the way to forward fold. Hands down or not down. Don't stress it if you come to this and you're like, I'm here. Ah, <laughs> this is okay. It steps and steps. Press into the balls of your feet. Stretch the mat between them. Almost all the weight is in our toes. Light, fluffy marshmallow heels. We're going to hold for one more breath. Maybe shake out your head and shoulders. And we sweep and rise. So begin to bend your knees. Take your gaze forward. Drop your hips and sweep the hands up. Big inhale coming all the way up. And as you exhale, take your hands through your heart, back to your sides. Okay, once you're standing, take a moment, maybe shake out your legs. So we're really gonna connect with our feet. Everything in yoga starts from the base. I like to think of my feet as my foundation. If I am connected with them, if I am working through them, everything else will be much more solid. So taking your feet right in line with your hips, not your outer hips, but your hip joints. So right in the bones. Hands by your side, take a moment, roll out your shoulders. And if you're comfortable with it, this is our first balance. Closing your eyes. And take some nice deep breaths, simply standing. Begin to share the weight between your right and your left foot.
Share the weight between the balls of your feet and the heels of your feet. And then noticing the rolling in or out of ankles. So the big toe side edge or the pinky toe side edge of your feet. Is there more weight on either one of those? And again, sharing the weight equally. Once you are balanced, notice this. What does it feel like to be grounded equally within your feet. Can you relax your shoulders, your face, your jaw? Come back to the intention you set for class, really being present. Notice the gentle sway that happens. This is my favorite because this is the lesson that yoga teaches us about balance. The balance is not doing everything at once. It is instead not going too far in any one direction. Take a full breath. Let it go. Opening your eyes gently, begin to sweep your hands up overhead, coming into palm tree, our second balance. Reach your fingers up nice and long and slightly turn your pinkies inward. So we're rotating our shoulders and just slightly, really grounding down. Close your rib cage, so notice if your chest is open, your back is arched. Pulling your rib cage in. Start to shift your weight towards your toes. Then we find what's called our drishti, our focal point for our eyes. So looking on the ground, maybe about five feet in front of you as you slowly start to lift your heels up. Maybe at first they come barely off the mat, but as you get comfortable with this, see if you can keep pressing them up. Squeeze your glutes, keep your breath slow. It's okay if you fall in and fall out of this, wiggle and wobble. It's never about being balanced, it's challenging the body. Let's add some play. If you are nice and stable here, maybe start to add a look over to the right, maybe to the left. So we're starting to add a challenge. Notice without your drishti, balance gets a lot harder. If you're still balanced, add a gaze up and down, shaking your head yes and no. <laughs> and maybe shake your head a little faster. And if you're still balanced, look up towards the ceiling, close your eyes and shake your head really fast. <laughs> Going into the play of things, not so serious. Open your arms up, pull the belly in, fold forward, dive down. Big inhale, halfway lift, fill up your lungs, take a flat back, hands to shins. Exhale, holding down. We're gonna do our sweep and rise again. Bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, sweep and rise. Exhale, hands to heart. We'll try a different variation, this time keeping our hands at our chest. Shift your weight into your right foot. Nice and slow, just lift your left heel. Stay here, if you're cool with it, start to pull the toes off. Point, flex, oh sorry, flex, or floint the foot. So we're engaging all the way through our toes. See if you can pull your knee up nice and high. Breathe slow, it's okay if you're wobbling. Find your drishti again. Relaxing your shoulders, take nice deep breaths. One more breath. Nice and slow, take your foot down. Switching sides, grounding down through the left foot. Push strong, grow tall, squeeze your glute. Lifting up the heel on the right, slowly lifting your leg up. Take slow breaths. Nice job, find your drishti. One more breath, can you breathe really slow? and coming down. Notice, did you think about anything while you balanced? No, that's the best part of balances. It forces you to be entirely and completely present. Okay, adding a little bit more fun, we're gonna slowly see if we can alternate each knee with our breath. So hands by our side, at your heart, wherever you want them. But as you inhale, reach your right knee up to your chest. As you exhale, take your foot down, breathing out. Keep switching, inhale, lifting the left. Toes are pointing, flexing or pointing, exhale down. 
Really stay with a slow breath and see if you can keep alternating. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Nice work. Almost there. One more time each side. Belly is in. Everything is relaxed. It's okay if you're wobbling. Notice how you speak to yourself if you're falling. One more. Breathe in. Exhale, take it down. Good. Take a nice big inhale. Sweep your hands up overhead. We're going to do a tricep stretch. Take your right hand behind your head. Left hand comes to grab your elbow, if you can see here. Nice and gentle. Drive down through both feet. Keep your belly pulled in and start to lean towards the left. Maybe take your gaze up towards the right. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Coming through center, switch sides. Left hand behind your head, grabbing your elbow. Lean to the right. Nice deep breath. Let it go. Inhale, come back through center and take the hands down. Okay. Hopefully we're feeling good. This is an important piece. Make sure you get your dance in. Moving into what is called tree pose. We'll start by shifting our weight into our right foot and we turn the knee open on the left. This is called kickstand. When you have just your heel lifted, your toe is down and you can even let your heel press against your inner ankle. Okay, so this is step one. If you feel a little wobbly, stay here, okay? If you're feeling good, maybe you start to travel your foot up a little bit higher. Maybe you press it into your calf and you can put your foot anywhere on your leg. You can even go all the way up to your inner thigh if you'd like, as long as you don't go on your knee. No side torque on that knee. Pushing your foot into your leg and your leg into your foot, wherever your foot is, but you're pressing these two places together nice and strong. If you're feeling feisty, maybe you play around with your arms, taking any variation that floats your boat. Maybe you stay nice and still. It's okay to fall in and fall out. Take one more breath. And as you exhale, nice and gentle, release out. Shifting your weight into your left foot, you can give a little shake. Kick stand, turning the right knee open, knee to ankle, stay. Maybe travel your foot up, take a low tree. Maybe taking a high tree, but wherever you choose, not the knee, push your thigh and your foot into each other. Having a strong connection in the body is also really nice mentally for your focus. Hands can go wherever you want. Maybe try a different variation. Breathe slow. Take one more breath. Feeling yourself in this moment, slowing your breath. And if you can, try to release with patience. Nice and slow, coming out. Gently release your arms down. Take an inhale, sweep your hands overhead, maybe look up. As you exhale, bow to your practice. Pull your hands through your heart center as you hinge at your hips. Weight shifts to the toes, booty is engaged, folding all the way down. As your inhale comes, take a nice halfway lift. Flat back, reach the chest. Exhale, folding down. And as you inhale, lower your hips, sweep and rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Okay, moving into our next level of balance. This is gonna get significantly harder, okay? So we're no longer gonna be doing a chest up balance, we're gonna do a folded balance. So moving into what is called warrior three. We're gonna start in a crescent lunge. So at the top of your mat, we step our right foot back behind us. Okay, and this nice lunge. You can play around with this lunge because the farther your feet apart are apart, the harder this is, okay? So this is a balance in itself. Having your toes point forward, lift the back heel up nice and high, and try to stack everything up. If that means your back knee has a little bend in it, that's okay. Sweep your hands up overhead, take a nice deep breath, 
Push down into your front heel and press out through the ball of your back foot. Reach your arms up nice and tall. Take one more breath in. And as you exhale, we're gonna airplane our chest. We're dipping our chest forward. Pinkies pulled together. So we're just experiencing this dipping sensation. Take a nice deep breath in, sweeping up. Let's do two more, just connecting with our breath. Slow your breath down, breathing out, dip forward. It's okay if your left leg is burning. Breathe in, sweep up. Last one, exhale, dip down. Inhale, sweep up for crested lunge, Anjaneyasana. This is where we're going to move into warrior three. So as you breathe in, you reach up tall. And as you exhale, reach diagonally, very important, up with your head and launching your back foot off, okay? So we have the back foot lifted up and we slowly begin to dip down and try to make a T shape. So our back toes are turned totally down. We want our hips nice and squared. Gaze is still forward. Find your drishti. What are you looking at? Pull your pinkies towards each other so you can dip your chest more and lift your back leg a little higher. Nice deep breaths. And as your next inhale comes, push into your foot, reach up with the crown of your head and come all the way to standing. How'd it go? <laughs> okay, we'll switch sides. Shake it out. Stepping your left foot back, take your crescent lunge. If you had regrets before about how deep it was, do less, okay? Just make sure your front knee is stacked right on top of your ankle. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, stay. Connect with your breath, slow it down. Next, inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, airplane lunge, dip your chest forward, palms face down, pinky squeeze. Inhale, sweep up, two more. Really let your breath take you. Exhale, dipping down. Inhale, sweeping up. And as you exhale, launch for warrior three. Reach up with your head, not forward, not down. Reach up. This will counterbalance you much easier. Pulling the pinkies towards each other. Dip your chest down. Back toes point totally down. Try to rotate your heel up towards the ceiling. Lift your back leg higher. Breathe slow. Keep your drishti. It's okay to wiggle. Take one more breath. And as you inhale, reach up with your head, pull your core and push through your foot. Come all the way back to standing. <sighs> Do you have a dance? <laughs> nice work, my friends. We'll cool it down now, but awesome job on those balances. This is our level one balances. I'll be doing a video for level two. Let me know in the comments if you have any balance requests of like, hey, can we do dancers, half moon, whatever it may be. So hands by your side. Let's take a full breath together. Breathing in, sweep your hands up. Breathe out, pull your hands to your heart. Press your palms together. Breathe in, press your hands up. And as you exhale, dive forward, dip the chest down. One halfway lift, fill up your lungs, flat back, belly pulls in. Exhale, melt down. Coming into a seat. If your knees are happy and healthy, maybe you move your chair, dropping your hips all the way down. Try to land soft on your booty and hug your knees into your chest. You can go any other way to the floor if you'd like. Give it a nice good squeeze. This is what I call seed. This posture is in all of my classes and this is your place of growth. So saying very kind things to yourself. Balance can be frustrating. It is a practice of patience, my friends. So saying very kind things to yourself, especially if maybe you said some unkind things to yourself as you wiggled and wobbled. Relax your shoulders, breathe slow. Take just one more moment. And nice and gentle, we'll make our way onto our backs. 
you'd like. Maybe do a last little core engagement, sitting up nice and tall, pull your belly in and slowly with lots of control, rolling down. Belly is pulled in super tight all the way. Take a nice full body stretch when you reach bottom, arms up overhead, feet long. Oh, good thing. Say good job to yourself. Balance is awesome and hard. <laughs> and then we'll take one more posture, happy baby. Point your feet up towards the ceiling. Open your knees to the side and you can grab anywhere that you want. Sometimes it's very nice to grab the shins and slowly start to work the knees down. If you're very accustomed to this, maybe you grab the pinky toe side edge of your feet. But make sure that wherever you are, that you can breathe deep. That your body can be soft and relaxed. You can take movement here, stay nice and still. Let's take one more breath. Gently begin to lower your feet back down. Give your knees one more squeeze. Maybe even tuck your head in nice and tight. And then come into Shavasana, your final resting pose. Let your feet lay out nice and long. Take any shifts or adjustments that you'd like to settle in here. And in general, palms open is to receive, palms down is for grounding, and palms anywhere on your body is for a little bit more internal care, connecting with yourself. Breathe into your belly, full inhales and full exhales. Every exhale allowing you to melt down And I'd like to give you permission to be here. For these next few moments, there is absolutely nothing required of you. Nothing to do, nowhere to be, no one to please, impress, or take care of. Just allowing yourself to curl up within yourself, coming home to yourself. And if you're not sure what that means yet, that's okay. Just allow yourself to be here. Just sit with everything that is without needing to change it. To become soft in your body, in your mind, and in your heart. Soften your eyes. Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. And see how present you can be. If your mind's wandered, celebrate noticing and come back to anything that's happening right now that interests you. Your breath, sounds, your body.
before you move or change anything, come back to the intention you set for your practice. Does it still resonate with you? Is there perhaps a different one or the same one you want to set for the remainder of your day, your week? Picturing yourself feeling that way no matter what happens. Choosing to be peaceful no matter what may come your way. Choosing to be happy no matter what happens. Take a nice deep breath in. Fill all the way up. Hold it at the top of your breath. And with a nice big open mouth exhale, sigh it out. If you'd like to cultivate more joy, maybe turning up the corner of your lips, feeling the smile on your face, and slowly begin to add movement back in. Whatever that looks like to you, whether it's wiggles or rolls or stretches, And if you're starting really small with little wiggles, just keep working your way up, eventually taking some sort of bigger stretch, whether it's a full body stretch, a hug of knees. Being really mindful and sweet to yourself, we make our way up to a seat. Take your time getting there. Once you do arrive to your seat, roll out your shoulders. Maybe move your neck, your shoulders, any little movements to help you wake up. And take your hands into your heart center. Feel your palms pressing against one another. Let your elbows and shoulders be relaxed. A nice deep breath in. Let it go. We'll close. The light, the love, the teacher, and the student in me sees honors and cares so very much for your light, your love, the teacher and the student in you. Thank you for staying with me through this practice and for taking the time to come to your mat. It was truly my honor to be your teacher. May you walk in peace and so much happiness today and every day. Namaste. Take a nice big stretch. You know how little kids do when they wake up? They're like, this is the best day ever. And we wake up and we're like, no. <laughs> so allow yourself to say that today is a great day for a great day. Thank you so much for playing with balance with me. Stay tuned for part two. I appreciate you. Bye, friends.